potential to bring in the reverse sweep. So we've got two more maps potentially. We're guaranteed to see Minecart Madness, which will be our next stop on our world tour. Love this map in particular. Pros hate it. We sprawlers are definitely something to be con seriously looking to consider here. And already uh, you can see the difference there on that right hand side lane. Matthias is able to you know, you know, just shoot through that uh, without any problems whatsoever. And uh, nice to see Nanny making an appearance here as well. Sometimes Nanny can get some really, really clutch uh, plays, especially in gem grab by uh, using gadget to teleport across the map. But already great control from IFC is actually uh, tarnished by a great snipe from Tufa. Guido nearly losing his life to the train there. That 2,000 damage would have ended his life if he didn't get on the other side of it fast. Nani trying to force him away. 116 HP, trying to get the angle for that shot. Will connect it, but Marcel set for the collection. Minecart will end up equalizing, so it is the best friend of INTZ right now. One other thing to note about why Nani could be so valuable here, Ark, is because he can, she can bypass the train by the use of the peep and the gadget and to teleport beyond it. Great cover destruction there to retreat, get the gems to safety, but INTZ have the lead. Peep going in, takes out Guido. It's the safest, cleanest kill you could ask for. Yeah, this is the thing for me is that Nani now with a bit of a tweak in the most recent balance changes uh, does mean uh, a lot more uh, confirming kills and uh, accuracy when you, you, know, you are likely to miss some of the shots. They will still ricochet beyond that point and and uh, looking already to dominate this left-hand side lane then uh, for Bithor Esports. BC taking a lot of fire from Marcel, who's keeping it at range on the Piper. That's probably the best option for your gem carry right now, outside of having the gene, just to make sure that you can stay safe. The super can be kept in the pocket for a disengage fast. If it gets too hot, they're sending the peep in after Marcel. The instant deletion from Adino! But the gems are thankfully in their back spawn, nice and safe. They make the conscious decision to give them back to Marcel, who's on the fire, immediately loses his life to Tufa. This is an opportunity. Bino wants to go in for it. They have to commit super to disengage this. And it's 10 to 6. So the countdown begins. Yeah, I see no, there's not much time to waste. Uh, if they waste any more time and don't get on countdown, then more gems will spawn from the center. And the takedown as well means that before he's was gonna have to uh, like try to get more gems here as Peter going in. No support there. Adino Great. on his own. It is gonna be INTZ to take this first round. The pressure now on before esports is huge. Still speaking, still sticking with the nanny. Greedy's gone on to the B this time as round Mathias is still on the card. We're going to try and keep him at range. Marcel gets the early spawn RNG. Gives himself a nice lead. Dodging out those shots from Nani. He returns fire across the map. Looking to get gem number three and get out as well. Carl's pickaxe is not enough. Nearly caught off by the minecart, but retreats all together. Yeah, again, establishing that early control. Marcel, they look how weak he is in the minecart, locking him down. And actually, that shot from Tuva just sort of seemed to go straight through Marcel. I think a bit of an, a scrape there. Uh, very, very close to going down there for INTZ. Bido doesn't want to be the person to collect this gem, but he has to stop INTZ from grabbing it themselves and release some pressure. Allow either Adino to go in, Matthias on the back line. Very greedy from Beto in that instance, but it does relieve enough pressure for Marcel to pick up gem number eight. The peep's going in. Will he use the super this time around? He has to commit it. He will stay alive. Great presence of might to hold on to it, but it will still break into the back wall. They've lost some early cover, but they still have this lead. They need to get some kills on the board. Otherwise, B4 Esports are going to lose this series. Yeah, I'm surprised to be honest if we didn't use Gadget there, because if you've missed the first shot and the Piper jumps away, he was trying to re uh, sort of position himself with the peep and turn it around. But the turning circle is vicious with Nani, but we are seeing a little bit of a comeback now for before Esports. So if they can get Marcel taken down here and get a couple of gems, but ah, Adinho going down is not going to help that from happening. Porter trying to find Guido. Marcel's there for the cover as well. Eight to four in terms of gems. They don't have the mid control just yet. Tooth is going to pick up these gems. The longer this goes on, that lead that IMTZ had is less impactful. Thankfully, Matthias goes in and captures that gem. Don't want to put it on your car, but you want to stop this lead coming in or this closing of the gap. Marcel is going to be able to dodge out the peak turning circle. Yet again, as wide as you said, are unable to get it around and get in damage. Empowered Porter doing what he can. Very aggressive dispenser. Going to go down. Here's the countdown beginning. There may be time here. They lose all the gems. Matthias is going to play clean up with them. He's got 10. There may be time here because of that reset to get the 10 to equalize. It's going to be super close. I don't think there's enough time for two to spawn in 10 seconds. But it, if they can just get a reset here, it might happen. If they can stretch themselves out, maybe there's enough time. No, they can. The gems are going to come in. They've got enough time. As long as they grab it straight away. One more. The B closing. The B shut it down. Oh my goodness me, there was actually a chance to 